All right, all right, we're back with more Mass Effect Andromeda. I think that's it. Let's uh, let's get out of here. Let's go chase some leads on the arcs. Ascent is go. Leaving Atmo. All clear. Okay. Oh, Gil wanted you to check in. Okay, well, let's go talk to him before we set out. Door. Door. Door! D -d 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 door. Same thing with this one, huh? Yeah? When's the last time you had a normal conversation? This is a normal conversation. <laughs> no. This is you trying to figure me out. Categorize my flaws. Put a label on me. That isn't... Everyone on this ship is an experiment to you. Peavy. I've got no interest in being a guinea pig. <sighs> what the fuck, Peavy? Now, oh, exaltation. The cat just keep asking for more trouble. Yeah. Really looking We're gonna give it to, to him. Those guys. What's up, big guy? Ryder, you meet Spender yet? Colonial Affairs, the ass in assistant director. Got no idea why Addison keeps him around. Spender lied to the Krogan during the uprising, and he's headed out for cash ever since. He's up to something. I just can't prove it. We should pay him a visit on the Nexus. All right, uh, we will. Speaking of Kesh... What's it like to have Kesh as a granddaughter? Kesh is my Rushan, child of my blood. Raised her myself. Damn proud of her, too. She did good, even with me for a granddad. She's honest. Definitely blunt. She had to take after me in some ways, I guess. <laughs> I'd like to know more about you. Fire away. How do you know Vetra, Krogan Colony, combat experience? Okay, let's hear a war story. So, about all this combat experience you have, I'd love some details. Ha! The list will be shorter if you ask me what experience I don't have. I've been doing this for a long time now. Centuries. Shit, well over a thousand years. Don't even know how I'm still alive, to be honest. Skill? You need luck to be a merc. Skill, sure, but a whole lot of luck. And a really hard head. <laughs> well, you are a Krogan. Speaking of which colony... Tell me more about the Krogan colony. My clan's there. We also got some scouts looking for any unclaimed territory to grab up. Got a decent setup going. Self-sustainable. The works. Even some farming. Farming? Krogan farm? Food's food. Just because we can eat anything doesn't mean we gotta settle for scraps. <laughs> I'm pretty fond of Corcro roots myself. Takes a while to chew through those. I mean, you're right. How did you and Vetra meet? Huh, that's right. Your father brought you into the project pretty late, didn't he? Must have been a pretty steep learning curve since they thawed you out. You could say that. You make do with what you get. Anyway, I met Vetra back when we were building the Nexus. She swiped supplies I was trying to get for cash right under my nose. I tried to intimidate her into turning them over to me, and let me tell you, that Turian takes shit from no one. She really has a way of getting things done. She sure does. But here's the best part. She waited until I saw her again in Kesh's office, no less, to tell me she'd been working for Kesh all along. <laughs> They're both still laughing at me over that. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I'll talk to you later, Drake. We can talk more later. Sure. Hey, one last thing. Yeah? Is everyone a kid to you? Ha, huh, when you get to be my age, yeah, pretty much. All right, we're gonna go investigate Spender the next time we're on the Nexus. Then, what's up, Gil? 
Hey there. Hey yourself. Question for you. Shoot. When all this craziness is over, do you think you'll have kids? <coughs> Where the heck's that coming from? Jill, the best friend I mentioned while you were killing me at poker. She's starting the initiative's first repopulation effort at Prodromos. It's all she can talk about. It got me thinking. At the end of the day, this whole thing, the Andromeda Initiative, it, we're basically here to spawn. You just figured that out? Took you this long to figure that out? I told you. I didn't really think this thing through. But nothing we do here really matters unless we survive. Jill's right. At some point soon, we better get busy making babies. True enough. Who knew this thing was just a glorified dating service? Oof. The biological imperative is kind of a bummer. There are other ways to reproduce. It doesn't have to come from a romantic relationship. I guess I could donate DNA, or however it works. You know me. Whatever my gut says in the moment, I do. And I don't look back. My mom says that's how my dad was. I wouldn't know. His gut moved on before I was born. Oh, I'm sorry. I know the feeling for sure. I had no idea. It must have been hard. Hey, I turned out all right. He did his part, brought me into the world. Maybe that's enough. Thanks for talking, Ryder. No problem. Okay. Yeet. Ladder, thank you. All right, back to Vold we go. And then we're probably gonna hit the Nexus. Just back and forth to the ice planet of Hoth. That's great. This should be the last time we have to go there though. At least for a while. Drop on Vold. Vold orbit is steady. Right, let's select uh, Cora. Cora and Drac haven't hung out much, have they? Approaching the LZ. Oh wait, that's right, I forgot. We do have to still go to Aya. Alright, so... This is, like, right there, so this might be the closest one? Oh shit, damn it, I hate when that happens. Picking and up a faint signal. Looks like a friendly ship. It matches the transponder code for a sorry survey vessel, Harry Fona. That's the ship Hadaria mentioned. We might be close. Some of my parts weren't made for these temperatures. So you seem pretty anti-Nexus, even for a Krogan. That's your job around here, noticing things. My job is to watch Ryder's back. Who watches yours? Guess we'll find out, big guy. Okay. Little, little tense there. Oh, come on. I hate. This is why I hate. 
the snow and the mountains. Love the mountains in real life because they don't have uh, this effect on when you're driving. Because for an all-terrain vehicle, the Nomad seems to have some trouble in all-terrain. Gain a little bit of speed. No, we're not, but we still got the boost. Come on, get over it. Here they come! Here who come? What's what's going on? No enemies on my compass or in sight. Riders just having daydreams, I guess. Oh, wait, huh. is it? I thought this would be the periphona. Ice or mineral deposits may be reflecting false positives. The real signal must be relatively close. Yep, I assume it's down there near the smoke. Can you imagine the heat? That's a flare. Flares are bad news. Got it. We should see if we can lend a hand. Who are you? You don't look like Cat. Join the fight or stay out of the way. What the hell are they doing on an initiative shuttle? Okay. I think the cat are just nope, there's one more. Oh, and it's a big one. Hello, big one. Speak to the survivors. Thank you for the assistance. Any enemy of the cat is an ally of ours. You don't look like you're in distress. What was that beacon for? To draw the cat. To give them what they deserve. There's a group that's been attacking shuttles, killing and scavenging from innocents. I knew the beacon would attract them. They'd come here to find unarmed, easy victims. There will be consequences. Mm. What happens when a real beacon goes up and the cats slaughter everyone, thinking they're resistance? They were already doing that. But it's still a dirty move. More civilians might suffer because of it. Enough talk. We have more Ketten coming. Oh, more? Okay, fun. There you go. Okay. 
Are there more? Always so off. Where is the... Nearest one is up... No, actually these two are equidistant from each other. So let's head, just head towards the one we're already pointed to. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Where is it? I went the wrong way again, didn't I? Dear Lord. Life support. Restored. Some sort of guard post. There's a dar up ahead. Imagine being posted out here. Must be lonely. And cold. Always remember cold. Something like the hammer hit back. We can just glide above things. If we're lucky and that remnant junk does its job, maybe EOS will be all right for an outpost. I hope we stay lucky. The whole initiative's balancing on technology we don't understand yet. Just rocks. Still getting the periphone a signal. Wonder why she's on the ground. Smart if the kid are looking for them. Okay. There's like three signals up there. So the closest one to us is right here near that mill deposit. Here we go. Shit will be Pathfinder. right up in. I detect heavy weapons fire nearby. Really? Shit. I detect Ket among the salvage. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. Uh, you no. can extract minerals via your mining interface. Another false reading, but we must be closing in. Yep, probably right over there. I saw a shuttle pass overhead. Ooh. That's a good one. Who taught you to shoot, Harper? Your stance is all over the place. It's a Karita stance. Classic for Asari commandos, but it's not for everyone. A Krogan, for example, would look like a whale trying to dance back. This is the source something. of the periphone signal. Oh god. And there's Ked on sight. Let's clear them out. Plenty of them. Not 
hurting from that. One note. Oh shit. Nice double team. Clear. That's the periphone, all right. That's left of her. Definitely Ket weapons fire. This wasn't just a crash. The Ket pulverized the ship. No survivors. If we'd been faster, we could have... Damn it. But... This is stupid. If they want a sorry for exaltation, why not take the crew alive? Ket are monsters. The ship was the target, not this one. It's like they saw the Periphona itself as a threat. But it's no match for a Ket cruiser. When you're ready for payback, we got something. Looks like a flight recorder. It's in bad shape, but let's see what... Final log. If the Ark ever finds this, we failed. Couldn't draw them off. The data copy's lost. The decimation's too cunning. Forgive us. We tried... The decimation. Hadaria mentioned specialized cat hunters. Maybe that's them. They've got to be Cat, with a name like that. I hope they choke on it. Lieutenant, with time the navigational record could be reconstructed. Right. We could trace the Paraphona's flight path, maybe all the way back to the Ark. I'll take a look when we get back. Still lots to do. Sounds good. Alright, now let's, um... Wait, there was another one to meet. PB on Aya. There we go. Okay, let's go meet PB. See what else Aya has for us. Probably not much. Hey, Sylvie. Vold orbit is steady. I thought I switched the, the quest over to the Iowa or whatever world so I didn't want to get on the planet. Down we go. Oh, I did select it. It just didn't want to show up. All right, let's go check out the museum again, even though we met PB in the museum once before. Really, it's this far back? Uh, 
Oh no. She drunk. You sauced, PB. Come on. Getting acquainted with our new neighbors? Sort of. All this stuff. The Angara sure do have a rich culture and blah blah blah. You're sauced, aren't you? What's your poison? Achcha. I visited that cafe the Angara consider a bar. Asked for their hardest stuff. It was weird, which I like, but had almost no <clears throat> punch. <laughs> Lightweight. Whoa. Steady now? That stuff must have a slow absorption rate. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, writer. It's just... This museum reminds me of being on Haitiana during my indentured service as a student. They even have a whole section on the remnant. I didn't come to Andromeda to follow in someone else's footsteps. The Angara have questions? What did you expect? I mean, yeah, they've been here longer than us. They probably already have studied stuff. Don't worry, PB. The Angara barely have a foothold. Sure, they live among the ruins, but they haven't seen what we've already seen. Hmm. You might have a point there. Bet nobody here has ever outrun an ancient vault purification field, huh? Nope. <laughs> nope. Or spat in that Archon's ugly mug and lived to talk about it? That was nice work, by the way. Thank you. Ah, you're right. Not sure why, but ever since I packed up my apartment on the Nexus, something's crawled under my skin. But whatever it is, I promise, I'll get over it lickety-split. Don't sweat it. You're fine, PB. We all need to cut loose once in a while. You're very understanding. And attractive. Nice combination. I think I'll stay in your operation a little while longer. <laughs> she is so drunk. Okay. Is that all we need to do here on, on Aya? Uh, Helios, Aya. Yeah, that's all. All right, back to the Nexus then. Oh, nope, that is not a central hallway. Can't go down that way either. Okay, back to the ship. Actually, journal. Find Spender on the Nexus, on hold, on hold, doesn't really have a goal, on hold, Havaro, doesn't really have a goal to do so, and memory triggers, okay. Let's find Spender on the Nexus. Like, I'm sure if he works in operations, he's not going to be that hard to find. Um, I guess catching him in the act of doing something wrong might be a little worse. She wants to talk to you. Oh, really? All right, we'll head to the Nexus, and before we land, we'll talk to her. God, I love the visuals for space in this game. It's just so damn beautiful. above the Nexus, or not orbit, but you know, near it. Alright, let's exit. Alright, PB, what you need? Oh, come on, think. Think! I need something. 
Who are you talking to? Ryder! Shit! You shouldn't sneak up on someone like that. I'm just... talking to myself. Right. Don't tell me you never do that. You seem stressed. No kidding. I'm not built for this kind of homesteading. Don't like people knowing where I am, where my stuff is. Ugh! Something wrong? You've got to relax. You're starting to stress me out. I'd like to. I need to. Yes. When I felt like this back home, I'd look for a zero-G chamber, or at least an isolation tank. Some place to just drift away. I could really use that now. If I may, gravity can be overridden in the escape pod. You can create a zero-G chamber. Of course! Sam, you're a genius! It's easy. It'll make a huge difference, Ryder. You'll see. You know, there's room for two. You sure? You're willing to share? I won't cramp your style? Let's find out. Alright, I'm in. And this... should... do it. <sighs> Close your eyes. Relax. <laughs> Let yourself go. Mm. Oh, this hits the spot. Ryder? Yeah? There's something else that would relax me. What's that? That's the spirit. Wanna fool around? Oh. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you have something else going on. I can be utterly discreet. Just fun. Two people blowing off steam. No strings attached. Only if there's no strings. But what if I want strings? I'm into you, PB. I'd want it to mean something. Oh. Huh. Good to... No. Let's not rush things. Just enjoy this. I can talk to her again? Oh. Oh, that's cute. We were right about the vault on Aya, huh? What a find. And this Meridian vault might jumpstart all the others. I knew hitching my wagon to yours would pay off. Kalinda. Is there more about Kalinda you want to share? Back home, she was upper crust. An ambassador. Respected. Living the high life, but miserable. Not built for royalty, she said. With her position, the initiative sought her out as a first contact specialist. First wave out of stasis. Kalinda was the one who got me thought out early. I'm still grateful for that. But things went south soon. She hurt me. Pretty badly. What happened? Oh, let's not drum up that sob story. It's all water under the bridge. Sure, all right. Uh, Meridian. So what's your take? Is this Meridian what we think it is? Everything we've seen, each remnant system we've uncovered, is connected to everything else. The bots, the monoliths, the vaults. It stands to reason that activating Meridian will connect the entire network and rekindle terraforming across the cluster. So you think we're doing the right thing? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, I guess that's the most blunt way you could ever put it. I like it when you flirt. I wouldn't want you to stop. Have I flirted with you? <laughs> Don't worry, Ryder. I'm relentless. It relaxes me. All right, you coy little blueberry. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. All right, down we go. Jesus, it still looks like the Nexus is heavily under construction.
Okay. Ryder. Watch your Have toe. you seen Lexi? You saw what happened to the Krogan. She's not in the med bay? But we need no. this equipment. And she's not answering her well, call. Well, you're not getting it. I'll Stop find her. Stop making frivolous requests. It's not a frivolous request. Properly functioning air filters are at... Frivolous. You'll just have to make do. No, we can't fix frivolous. the station breathing bad air. What the fuck? Your incompetence isn't my problem. Whoa. Just do your job. What do you want? Calm down a little bit. It didn't look fun. Whatever's going on, it's not fair to take it out on me. <sighs> Apologies, you're right. This is not your fault. I haven't heard much good about that guy. Whatever you've heard, it's not half as bad as the reality. Just last week, he tried to redirect some of the supplies we need to keep the stasis pods going. Why? I have no idea. But if Kesh hadn't stepped in and threatened to airlock him, it would have been a disaster. He's always like that. Making bad decisions, driving the Krogan away, treating people like scum when no one's watching. Anything I can do? Maybe there's something I can do. A man like that's bound to have some dirt. I wish Tan and Addison could see it. Things have gotten so bad that Kesh had to literally kick him out of engineering. How literal are we talking here? Boot to ass. Oh, it was glorious. We need him gone, but as incompetent as Spender is at his job, he's insanely good at keeping it. Kesh can tell you more. Talk to Kesh about Spender. There's a side quest over here, which is probably looking for Lexi. Wait, I just saw it. What? What do I need to... What do I need to scan? I could have swore I saw... Hmm. I swore I saw a mission over this way. There's Lexi. There you are. Looking for the meaning of life? At the bottom of a bottle? You wouldn't be the first to try. Alcohol rarely provides answers. Then why are you here? What? I can't kick back? Have fun? Lexi, you haven't touched that bottle. Because you interrupted me. What's this really about? PB thinks I don't care about the crew, that you're all just experiments to me. Do you... is that how you think I see you? Wait, why do you care? Since when do you care what PB thinks? It's not the first time someone told me that. Oh. In fact, every one of my exes said something similar. Oh. Hence why I'm taking a break from relationships. <sighs> you didn't answer my question. Is that how you think I see you? You wouldn't be moping in this bar if you only saw me as an experiment. I don't mope, but you're right. <sighs> Thank you, Ryder. I should get back. What about your wine? I'll save it for another day. Sounds good. What, are we gonna create another Ceres Ice Brandy uh, tradition? Just in a different galaxy? Let's go see about Spender. Oh, that's... There we go, that was weird. A violent illness related to cherry-like fruit brought back from Habitat 7 as authorities back. Multiple passengers are still in quarantine. Wait. Why the fuck would you eat anything from Habitat this 7? is HNS. Who's even gone to Habitat 7 since the Hyperion came back? That's insane. Alright, Cash, we need to talk. I'm worried about this. Dell told me you saw her arguing with Spender. Pijak's doing his best to throttle my department. How's he getting away with that? Spender doesn't know the first thing about engineering, but he knows how to play people. More importantly, he still talks to the exiles. I'm sure of it. I just can't prove it without your help. Anybody else know about it? 
Does anyone else know about this? My grandfather tried to tell Tan. He wouldn't believe him without proof. How's he still employed? Defender's a piece of work. If he's really this bad, how does he keep his job? Welcome to the Nexus. Look, I can work with everyday incompetence. But Spender's a traitor and a danger to the station. He needs to be dealt with. This needs to be investigated. I'm glad someone thinks so. Talk to Kandros. He likely has security footage of some kind of evidence. But you'll have to convince him to authorize release. All right. Nothing more for now. Good luck out there. Kandros. Mr. Kandros, Nirene's brother, I need to speak with you. So that's what the kid are up to, transforming people into willing slaves. Now we know why they take so many prisoners. Well, they're sure as hell not taking any more. I was told I should talk to you about the mutiny. I wasn't on the Nexus when it happened. I started reading up on it, but you know how things get around here. Do you know where Spender was during that time? Why Spender? Wait, you think he might have had something to do with the mutiny? Maybe. Just trying to sort things out. You know, the logs I did look through showed a few discrepancies. I meant to dig deeper. If you're investigating, how about I give you access to the security vid archives? Thank you. Anything else? Nope, much appreciated. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. All right, let's take a look at the security footage. Huh, this file won't play. Sam, can you boost the quality? Processing. Playback initiated. Wait, is he handing something over to one of the mutineers? Take this. It'll help. Don't. I am sorry, Pathfinder. This backup file is corrupted. The audio tracks are heavily degraded. Someone may have deleted the original, and this version was restored during a system-wide reset. Sounds like a cover-up to me. I concur. While I cannot restore any more audio, the location appears to be Kodara. How do you figure? In common parlance, lip reading. Good job. We're bound to find something there. All right, confront Spender about the security footage. I don't think that's a... Let's go confront Spender. That's a good idea, but we'll just have to see what comes out of it. Over here. Ryder, is it? William Spender. Apologies if we met before. I meet a lot of people running Colonial Affairs. Running Colonial Affairs? I thought you were the Assistant Director. That's right. Assistant to Addison. So we know who does all the real work. Real work or dirty work? From what I've heard, your hands are pretty dirty. I saw the footage. You were handing something off. What footage? From Gavorkum? Routine business meeting. Whoever you're talking to clearly has an axe to grind. And frankly, a Pathfinder shouldn't be wasting time on a witch hunt. You'd be wise to let this be. Yeah, every time somebody says the word witch hunt, it's usually got some truth behind it. Right, investigate spend Spender's location on Kadara. We'll do that next time because we I want to get to Habaro before we do anything else is there anything else I need to settle here on the Nexus journal uh, Helios Helios Eos Cat Spain where is the Nexus on hold enemy Intel okay so nothing else here There we go. Okay. All right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, thank you so much for watching. Uh, when we return, we're going to probably head to Var Havarl, then head to um, Kadara. So I thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, please uh, smash the like button, uh, subscribe, leave a comment if you liked what you saw. Um, spread it around even. If you're on Twitch, please drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time. Thank you.